Good morning, ladies. Jen here with Jen's Crafted Chaos. I am not doing a tutorial um, or quick scrap today. I really just wanted to show you guys some products that I just added to my Etsy shop. I don't do a whole lot of advertising, um, but this is some pretty cool stuff. And instead of it just sitting there, I would like to give you ladies, you know, a chance to grab it up if you'd like. So let's begin. Obviously, this is a basket full of all sorts of goodies. <clears throat> I cleaned my studio out at the beginning of January, and I ended up with a lot of extra stuff. All right, so let's start here with the alcohol pearls. I have two sets of alcohol pearls. This one has a celestial, celestial blue mineral and smolder, which really it's blue, looks copper, um, I don't know, maybe a light brown, possible possible gold color. And then here is Enchanted, Envy, and Villainous. Pink, green, and purple is basically what this is. I'm not sure how good the light is. I really hope you can get a good look at this. So, there it is. Two packs of alcohol pearls, two different colors. They, and everything is already on. I, I spent the afternoon putting everything on. One more thing, and that's in the alcohol inks line. I've got a pack of mixatives. It comes with two colors, rose gold and gunmetal. And um, like I said, it's in the same line with the alcohol inks. I believe I have one other pack of alcohol inks already on the site if you want to take a look, or the site, or in the shop if you want to take a look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Next I have two mica sprays, um, two distress mica sprays. Let's see. They, actually they come in a pack of three, but the third color was one that I actually needed to replace. So I had these two extra, but I could go ahead and just sell them. There you go. So this one is Tarnished Brass. And this one is Antiqued Bronze. And while I've got these here and I'm thinking about it, just so you know, when you do eventually use sprays, or if you already do, when you go to shake them, you really want to shake them from side to side as opposed to up and down. Because uh, though up and down it gets a lot gets it done a lot quicker it tends to clog the sprayers especially on these type of bottles anyhow these are both in my shop antique bronze and tarnished brass distress okay and they're mica sprays not stains or inks they're mica next i've got a stays on blazing red solvent ink pad um, I got this for Christmas, but I already had the red one, so here you go. Um, it's actually, it's actually perfect red for Christmas, to be honest with you. I love it. Um, and with these, you don't just use, you can't just, I mean, not can't just, but you don't just use them to stamp on stamps. Um, you can use them for coloring anything, any type of project. So... There we go. Let's see. Oh, I came across one Ecoline. It is a watercolor. Now, Ecoline, their colors um, come in numbers. This this one, if you're familiar with it, is 506. I, I'm not, so it's blue is what it is. And what happened, what happened here was the store was closing down, and even though I knew I already had one, I couldn't help myself. I thought, oh, I'll run out of it. But let me tell you, you don't ever run out of these. They, it's it's quite a bit. It's 30 milliliters. And that really lasts a while. So, here you go. There's one Ecoline, one lonely Ecoline color on there. This is cool. This is glitter glass. And this one, I accidentally... Oh, no, actually, no, I didn't accidentally anything. I had bought it and then in one of my monthly kits I got another one so I again had two duplicates which is most of why I have all the stuff so anyway glitter glass it's a step up from regular glitter and yes it does make a mess and I would suggest 
sweeping it as opposed to vacuuming it because it sounds like it's ripping your vacuum apart but it's great and it really looks good on projects it's such a good final touch especially on layouts and again this lasts a long long time a little bit goes a long way with these with most with most of these products okay next I've got these um, remarks stickers there are 55 letters if you can see and they're all gold and <laughs> I got the same kit sent to me twice and then it came in a, another kit that I got that's a problem when you have more than one subscription to scrapbooking clubs but I can tell you if you are interested in getting into any subscription into scrapbooking my creative scrapbook is what you want to go for so far it's the cheapest with the best products the nicest people and I haven't come across anything I didn't like but I have come across duplicates obviously that's not a big deal but yeah so if you're looking to get into a subscription my creative scrapbook check that out all right next I don't have I think I've sold one other die in my shop but I actually somehow got two of these can't remember how or why but it's a great die first of all there's eight of them and second of all it's huge look at the size of this thing it's perfect for cards and this would be perfect for a five by seven you know you can't say that about many <laughs> that's centimeters my bad here we go check it out look at that it's nearly four and a half inches across and nearly five and a half up and down i mean that's just that's fantastic look at it it can be used for so many different things now again if you haven't got a die cutting machine yet that's okay you can you don't you don't need one it's i took it took me a couple years before i decided to invest into one but if you do have one and you're looking for inexpensive dies yeah get this one this is the one you want to get because it's it's very very cheap compared to how much you would pay for it um retail all right let's see i saved the best for last um let's see lace i have let me put down the different the different ones because i have a few different ones leaves okay now this is just a trial thing i've never sold lace before um but again when i cleaned out my lace boxes um in january i realized how much of each one i have i have a problem with um buying too much i'm always scared i'm gonna run out so i'd rather have more than instead of less than and well this is what happens um, but anyway, it's a good way um, to start building your stash because lace is, it's great on anything. Um, I say that a lot, I guess. It's true a lot of the time. Anyway, this is one of my favorites. If you can see. It is two yards of one and a half inch wide white rosette vintage lace i called it rosette obviously because of the little roses that are that are on there it's also got the scalloped edge it's it's really pretty um and for all the laces they're all two yards except for the leaf lace and i don't think you want oscar's hair anyhow each one is cut separately so it's two yards but it's a yard each and cut in a yard each in each container in each bag or whatever good gracious if you can understand what i'm saying this morning it'll be a shock all right next one Oh, it's another fat lace, but this one is um, 
cream colored, obviously, or beige, whatever you call it. It's beautiful, too. Not as soft and satiny as the last one. This one's cotton. Can you see that? Isn't that so beautiful? I love it. It's nice and thick. It is... Let me see which one is this one. Three quarters. One and three quarters. Okay. This one is one and three quarter inch wide. Cream or beige colored vintage lace. Obviously, it's cotton. And I, I, I this is the one I have the most of. I have six, six of these, two yards each. And again, they are cut separately. So you have two single yards. Okay. Then we've got... Oh, I should mention, all these are, they're trims, uh, but obviously you can tell it's not a giant piece of lace, but I should, should have mentioned that. Okay, this is cotton as well. This one is, where are we at here? This one is three quarter inch wide, white vintage scalloped cotton. I only have four of these. But you can see it's lovely. It's nice and tidy. It's not something I would use on, you know, something that I was that I was trying to make. Um, I guess very vintage, even though it is a vintage lace. I would put this on probably something more delicate, like a card, or possibly a layout, which I plan on doing as soon as I am done this okay here's another small one this one is another three quarter inch cream cotton vintage lace again two yards and I only have three of these if you can see the color and the edges it's not straight, it's you know, little triangles on the underneath, but it's, again, this would probably be on more of a tidy project, but again, and then there's so much you can do with lace. I mean, you can dye it, you can distress it, you can leave it the way it is. I, I, I have dyed it before, but I'm scared to distress it because I'm so scared I'm gonna mess up how pretty it is. So, let's see, all right, there's that one. And then one more, and this is the leaves. These are, it's considered lace, but basically they're satin leaves. And I was buying these myself from someone who I'm not gonna say who it is, <laughs> that was selling them in the three pieces like so uh, at a pretty pretty high price point once i found out how much they come in a long amount in a long you know in a yard and i counted each yard is about nine of these and i cut them you know directly in between so none of the leaves got messed up and i'll tell you what i use these for for the satin flowers, which I will show you eventually, I have a, a whole bunch of those, um, sadly none for sale, but for the satin flowers, I, I don't like giving them green leaves. I like sticking with the motif, so I generally will cut these into leaves and use them. And again, like I said, there's nine in one yard, so imagine, and there's three, in each one so whatever three times nine is yeah I'm not even gonna go there <laughs> yep no calculator sorry and I'm all right so well there you have it guys um, I hope this wasn't too painful for you and I am gonna tape the project that I'm getting ready to start working on but 
Mm, most likely it's going to end up being too long to actually put on. I do promise I will get editing down, um, hopefully sooner than later. So check out my store. It's Jen's Crafted Chaos dot etsy dot com uh follow me on instagram it's jen's crafted chaos and it's a capital j capital c capital c and i'm jen marth on facebook so and obviously you know we're not on youtube so i hope you guys have a creative day it is gosh almost four here on the east coast of the u.s it's always morning for me because I'm nocturnal, but either way, have a great day no matter where you're at, and thanks a lot for coming and supporting me. I appreciate it for all of you. All right, guys. Hugs. Bye.